Hey guys, Steven from LOJ Conversions here. I wanted to talk to you today about the fuel system and what needs to be done when you're doing an LS conversion um, as far as addressing pressure and flow requirements for an LS engine versus the VQ35 that came in a G35 or 350Z from the factory. Um, now in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, when Nissan and Infiniti started going to returnless style fuel systems in all of their vehicles, uh, they set up their fuel system so that there's a pressure regulator integrated into the fuel sending unit in the tank and the fuel pressure on all of their cars is set at 51 psi or um, three and a half bar and essentially GMLS engines they run at 58 psi returnless and that's a four bar setup so if you wanted to run an LS engine and leave it returnless with the factory sending unit in one of these uh, cars, in one of these conversions, you'd end up feeding that LS engine 51 PSI instead of 58 PSI. Now, that's actually okay, and you can compensate for that in the tune in the ECU, but what you end up doing is effectively downgrading the flow rate of your injectors, because GM sized all of the factory injectors for these engines, assuming that they'd be fed 58 PSI. If you take um, one eighth of that fuel pressure away, you end up reducing the flow rate, effective flow rate of those injectors by one eighth. It can be compensated in the tune, but you reduce the maximum horsepower that that injector size can support on that engine. So what LOJ has done, um, instead of converting the entire car to a return style fuel system or putting new AN lines from the trunk to a pressure regulator in the front, leaving it returnless but um, having an external regulator, what we've done is we've sourced new uh, fuel fuel pressure regulators to be installed in the fuel setting units of these cars that change the pressure from 51 to 58 PSI. So when you purchase a fuel system solution from LOJ Conversions for one of these cars, for a sedan what you'll get is a new high flow fuel pump from AEM that's compatible with E85 if you want to run E85. You'll get a new fuel pressure regulator to drop into your factory fuel sending unit that will change the fuel pressure from 51 to 58 PSI. You'll get a new fuel line to connect from the factory hard line on the car to a factory fuel rail on an LS engine. All you have to do is unbolt the fuel rail and spin it 180 degrees so the fuel inlet on the rail is on the passenger side instead of the driver's side. Um, LS engines are symmetrical so that's completely bolt on. There's no fabrication required to just spin the rail around. And it basically, you drop that fuel pump in, you drop that pressure regulator in. There's a couple small mods that have to be done to the sending unit itself, and our instructions will cover that in detail. But you bolt it all back together, and you've now got a higher flow fuel pump flowing more fuel at the correct pressure uh, for this engine, so you don't have to do anything in the tune to downgrade the effective injector size. And that, that type of drop-in fuel system will support 550 wheel horsepower on a sedan, and a little over 600 wheel horsepower on a coupe or a 350Z. And that's simply because the 350Z coupes and G30, or sorry, the 350Zs and the G35 coupes from the factory have 3 8 inch fuel line running from the tank to the uh, engine bay, but the sedans for some reason have 5 16 fuel line. So you get a little bit less effective flow rate in a sedan, so the horsepower ceiling's a little bit lower. And then for the G35 coupes and the 350Zs, our fuel system solution will have the same line for the engine bay, but it'll have the correct fittings for the 3 8 inch fuel line that's coming from the tank to the front. But instead of getting a pump and a regulator to drop into your factory sending unit, what we'll include is a completely new sending unit already assembled with uh, the, the new AEM E85 compatible fuel pump and the new fuel pressure regulator installed. Um, so all you have to do is essentially pull out your factory sending unit and drop our sending unit in and you're done. Makes the install really simple on the coupes and the 350Zs. But uh, no matter how you slice it, we try to keep the fuel system as simple as possible and as close to the factory style setup as possible that you would have gotten from GM or from Infinity. Now if you want to make more than 600 wheel horsepower, LOJ will also be able to set you up with a complete return style fuel system with upgraded fuel lines, larger diameter, an external pressure regulator, an external pump, external filter. We can set you up with a fuel system that will support any horsepower level you're looking to make. But we understand that probably 90% of the guys that are doing conversion in these cars are going to make 600 wheel horsepower or less. So keeping a factory style setup keeps things simpler, it keeps costs down, and it makes the conversion a heck of a lot easier for you guys. So I hope you can appreciate that. I hope you can, um, you're as excited for these products as we are to offer them. And again, those will all be available this spring from LOJ Conversions. So 
uh, look forward to working with you guys and getting your LS swaps and your G35s and 350Zs done. All right, thanks.